Hi, daddies. That's my saying. That's me. That's Tino. Tino's back at it again with a fresh spanking new video. <laughs> spanking. What is this, 2004? My hair is kind of frizzy. Shit. I thought it looked good, but it's been a month since I got my medial thigh lift, and I just wanted to make a video about what that was like, what the process was, how I chose my surgeon, kind of take you from like beginning to end. Um, unfortunately, somehow, I lost the fucking footage of my um, appointments because I didn't take footage of like my appointments, but I took footage before and after and like I talked about it and I took um, videos of like before I went into surgery and stuff and I don't know, I really don't even know what happened to them. Like I, I don't know, they're just not on my phone, they're not in the cloud. It's like, it's like... Satan took them away from me. So I'm not really sure what, what that's all about, but apparently you guys were not supposed to see it because it's nowhere to be found. It's not going to be seen, which sucks because I don't know. I probably didn't say anything like that profound or I don't know, but we don't have it. So um, basically I got a medial thigh lift, which is um, where they, they cut a like... They cut down. I'll show you what the scars look like right now. It's been four weeks. Tomorrow will be officially four weeks. Um, so they cut down the thigh. Um, so that would be vertically. And <laughs> like I'm, I'm so blonde now that I, that I get my hair lightened. I'm like, you know, I've changed. Um, so they cut vertically on both thighs and then they also cut in what I call the crevice, which I can't show you those incisions because that would be, look at how my, I have like a slight sunburn still and my skin's just always like so red and I don't know, I don't know what that is, but kids used to come up to me all the time, like in elementary school and they would do this to me. Ha <laughs> ha! And they'd be like, eh, smiley face. <laughs> We're so fucking funny. We're kids. <sighs> anyway, they cut in the, the, the crevice where the, um, I guess that would be like your outer labia, but like very, very outer labia meets your thigh. So um, that's that area. So they cut both of those. Um, they did a little lipo just to make sure everything's smooth, but I didn't really have that much fat in my legs. Um, that's actually why I decided to do the thighs first is because I, I initially went into the consultation to get my mons reduced and lifted. Um, if you don't know what mons is, that's like the fupa. So it's called the mons pubis. Um, so that is really big and has a lot of loose skin on it and it sucks. Um, and I'll talk about that too later, um, what's going on with that. But so I, I went in for two different consultations to begin with. I started with um, a surgeon in Denver um, who also has an office in Beverly Hills. He really rubbed me the wrong way because he wanted to do like way too many different surgeries on me that were just like, like he, I went in to see him when I was about 30 pounds heavier and he was like, let's just do let's give you a 360 body lift so that it's easier to work out and he was just so insistent upon it like that's really what you need which would have been twenty two thousand dollars and i was still like 200 and well i think i was even bigger like i think i was 240 um it could have even been more like i hadn't i wasn't at my goal i wasn't i'm not at my goal i wasn't close to my goal um I was, you know, over 100 pounds away, but I just wanted to kind of see, like, what my options would be in the future because I noticed I was starting to get loose skin. Um, so I didn't like him because he was really pushing for that, and that would mean that I would need, like, I'd need that done twice, and I don't want to have that done twice. Like, that's, that's really stupid. Um, and then I found another surgeon. I just didn't, like, didn't vibe with him. He just wasn't, just wasn't my, my kind of person. I just, we didn't, we didn't have that chemistry. And then I met my current surgeon and I, I just knew. I was like, I really like this guy. I really trust him. Um, he's very conservative with the way that he does things. So I really appreciate that. I really liked that he was just like, he, he instantly knew what I needed. He was like, I'm not going to do the mons on you because you, um, you need a tummy tuck eventually. And if you want to lose more weight, you're going to like, you're going to want to wait so that you can have the best results, get your tummy tuck, 
we'll lift the mons, but for now, um, so then I asked him, like, well, what do you think about my thighs? And at first he was like, well, I don't know if we could do the thighs. He's like, it looks like they have fat. And I'm like, okay, but just wait until I lay down. Because if I lay down and you look at my thighs, you can see that that's like all skin. So I did, he came back in um, after I like got in my gown and stuff and he was like, oh, you're right. Like you're a perfect candidate for a medial thigh lift. And um, yeah, he like held up my skin. He was like, this is, this is perfect. Let's do it. And I was like, okay. And I really, really liked him. Um, it was $10,000, $10,600 altogether. He is a top rated surgeon. Um, he's been in practice, I think 20 years or more. Um, he's really, really good. I, I love him. He has a great personality. Like most doctors and stuff, I really don't like. I don't like the way they come at me. I don't like their just, I don't, I don't get along with doctors, especially like as a vegan, just a lot of doctors have really pissed me off. He's just like really cool. I really like him. Plastic surgeons are generally different. Um, like, all the ones that I've met are different than regular doctors. They're very, like, they're, like, with the times, you know what I mean? Like, they they know. They know things that are going on in the world. They're not, like, I don't, I just don't like doctors. So, I have a really, like, bad opinion of most doctors. i just not a big fan. Um, but I really like him. Um, he did a great job. I've been healing really well. So, going in, it was my first surgery ever. Um, never had another surgery, planning to have a lot more. So, um, it was, it was an interesting experience for me because I had to get a catheter. Getting a catheter is some bullshit. Um, it really hurt the next day to get that out and to try to walk around with it. <laughs> um, going to the bathroom was really, really hard. The first week I had to, well, the first, the first week was the worst, but the first two weeks I had to really like prop myself up and use my upper body strength to go to the bathroom. I had to like slowly get on the toilet, um, slowly get off. Now I'm pretty much back to normal. Like I'm pretty much, I recently went on a work trip. I'm like ready to go. Things are going well. Everything's great. Um, it, it hasn't been too bad. So like the first week I was so fucking depressed so depressed. I'm so thankful that Sorsha and Kyle came to visit me. None of my other friends came to visit me. People checked on me. People have been nice and stuff, but like they came to visit me. Sorsha brought me, the, well, they both brought me gifts. It was so nice. Um, so, so nice. Like I just, I'm very grateful for that. I'm very, very grateful to have friends that will do that. Like um, I know not everyone thinks of those things, but it was really thoughtful and it really helped me because I wasn't able to leave my house for the first week. I wasn't able to shower for the first like five or six days and you just get to feel like, ugh, like gross. You know, it really, it messed with my mental health like that week and the following week it kind of did still. Um, and then like I, I kind of have had not like I'm doing really well, but I've had some kind of like frustrations because my my surgery came out really, really well. My thighs look really great. Um, but I'll, I'll just show you. I'll show you what I'm about to talk about because this is this is my frustration with it's not with my surgery. It's just like this is why I haven't been like as excited, I guess. Like I'm still excited. I'm happy that my thighs look the way they do. I'll just show you though. My thighs look really good, you know, looking good. Um, that's the back. You can see all that. Um, so if you, you can see there's a, like, I have underwear on, but it's like a thong. But that's my, my scar. I don't know if you can see that, probably not scar. Um, so my frustration is not with my thighs. They're healing wonderfully. I have nice ass legs that I've worked hard for. My frustration is with the fact that I'm just gonna make sure. So if I'm wearing a short dress like this, which if I didn't have this, this dress would not be too short for me to wear. But 
this is my stomach. You guys have seen it before. And this is my mom's area. And if you look, um, it hangs down a lot. <laughs> a lot of it is skin, but, you know, there's still fat in there. Um, but my surgeon was looking at it today, and he was like, that's, it's a lot of skin. He was like, we could probably remove almost all of your stomach. Like, there's a lot of just, it's just skin. Um, he was lifting it up today and showing me, he's like, a lot of that is not, like, there might be deep pockets of like thick fat in there that are going to be hard to lose but we could probably get rid of that but yeah I mean I I do have a lot of skin um more than I thought I did I mean there there's a lot you know it's not as much as I do I don't 100% agree with him that like there's I still feel like I have you know fat to lose um up here I guess more I guess that's your like your what do they call it that's like the really dangerous fat is like this abdominal fat um but yeah this down here is like it's pretty loose um the mons has a lot of loose skin i obviously can't like show you that even though it's not a vagina like you wouldn't see anything because the way that my my mons is there like the way that it fucking hangs you wouldn't i can't see my vagina so it really sucks because like you know you you get the thigh surgery and it feels really good and you're like, oh, this is nice. Like my thigh hairs touch together and I never have had that in my entire life. I've never been able to feel my thighs move against each other in my whole life, except maybe when I was like three and I don't remember because I didn't pay attention to it. Um, but I still can't wear dresses and stuff because if the wind slightly blows or if someone's sitting down, they're gonna fucking see my stomach. And my mom's just hanging there. <laughs> and that sucks. That's the part that fucking sucks. I have reached um, my lowest weight to date as of today, which isn't much lower than before, <laughs> but I'm 196.8. This was just done through um, my normal eating, eating raw and uh, eating, not raw, like not 100%, but eating like high raw um, and exercising as much as I, I have, I can't really exercise right now, but I use these vibration machines that I sell. So it's been really nice um, just being like more active. So I've been able to get back down under 200. I wasn't for a little while there, which was frustrating. But um, I just want to thank Inevifit so much for sending me this wonderful scale. Um, and I wanted to show you guys what is inside because it's really great. Um, it's a really beautiful, beautiful design, and it's one of the most accurate skills on the market. You can't see because my setup is shit, because I'm in my mom's house right now, and I just came back from this work trip, and I tried to make this video so many times. But the job that I have, I'm literally gone all day. I work from 10 in the morning to 8.30 at night, 10 days in a row, and I tried to make the video like three different times and then it wouldn't upload once I actually did make it and then I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna make an entirely different video. Like, we're not doing this. All right, so this is the beautiful scale. I really love the way it looks because I have another scale that's just not, it's not up to par, but it's so beautiful. Like, it's just so chic. It's like, damn. But this is a really, really accurate scale. I've read a lot of reviews on it. I was really happy that they wanted to send me one because um, it's really good. I have, I've been really wanting a different scale. The best thing about the Inevifit scale, my favorite thing is that it comes with an app so you can actually pair the scale with your phone through Bluetooth and it will track everything for you. So it tracks way more than weight. But if you use the code Taryn, T-A-R-R-Y-N-N, -N, and I'm going to put a link in the description, you can get the scale for 20% off. So anyway, guys, I, I'm sorry that y'all have a messy mama for, for a YouTube mom, um, a YouTube sister, whatever you consider me. I feel like I'm a mom. I feel like I'm getting old. I'm 24 now it's really hit me. Um, <laughs> I go on these long ass work trips. I'm gone for so long. I'm gone for 10 days at a time with two days of travel. So I'm basically gone for 12 days at a time with two days in between for a break. 
and I tried to film this video like I said like I tried to film it three times in the hotel it wouldn't upload the Wi-Fi didn't work it's just been a mess you got a messy mama <laughs> I appreciate you guys so much supporting me I'm just trying to figure my shit out right now I um, I put out a new song if you guys don't follow me on Instagram I put out a new song so it's called back to sleep I think it's you know it's it's a song it's it's audio you can listen to it um it's my voice so that that's my opinion on that there's a lot of stuff that i want to do like i really i have a lot planned i have a lot of things that i that i'm working on i'm working on a book um you know not super hard but i'm working on the book i'm working on an album again not super hard but i'm working on it like i try to things just come to me i have songs come to me all the time I just, I am so busy. I literally work every single day. I called out of work today so I can make this video. Um, called out of my second job. So I'm just, you know, I'm living at home. <laughs> the struggle, the fucking struggle is real. I have a $10,000 loan now on these legs. Um, hopefully I can figure out a way to get my stomach paid for because Lord knows that's what I want. I want this fucking stomach lifted like I need it lifted off um it's sweaty and it's like I know that's gross but like it's so annoying when you just got new thighs and you're like oh my god these thighs these thighs look great these thighs are fucking sexy yeah sure they're still thick but they're fucking sexy you have no idea how sexy these thighs are but you got this fucking stomach hanging over it and then this mons like hanging over it and I feel like I have a fucking ball sack dude like I don't like it I don't like it it's so annoying I'm like god please somebody where's my fucking sugar daddy hey I look outside but what do I see I don't see nobody baby where's my fucking sugar daddy Look outside, but what do I see? Nobody. <laughs> Y'all like that? I need a sugar daddy. Like, somebody fucking pay for this shit. I've worked hard, and I feel like I deserve, like, I mean, everyone does. You know, everyone feels like they deserve shit, but. Bitch. I. I got these brand new thighs. I paid $10,000 for these thighs, and I can't wear a dress because I've got this this ball sack hanging down like I know that sounds so gross and any guy whoever dates me and like watches this they're gonna be like oh my god this bitch it, she's talking about having a fucking ball sack like who who am I with who is this girl you're with a crazy ass bitch and if you didn't know that already then you're fucked dude I do love you guys though I really appreciate your support um and I want to do so much better like I want to be making better shit I want to be I need better lights I need a, a place to make videos. I need shit. But you know what? I know you guys don't really care about that. You just want to see me. And um, that sounds so cocky. But like, <laughs> like, I know that like when people request videos, like they're not thinking about like the production value or anything. Like I know that I make a connection with people. I mean, I talk to people on Instagram all the time who've watched my videos. Like I'm, I'm pretty like I communicate with people unless they creep me the fuck out but other than that like people who are nice and cool and don't take advantage of me and like don't try to take up all my time like I'm cool with you I'll talk to you you know I'll like I'm very responsive so I know that the reason people want to see videos is not like so that they're perfect but I'm such a perfectionist and trying to make these videos in my hotel room and they just fucking suck and the lighting is horrible or I have to like bring all this lighting equipment on work trips when I go into other states it's like and then I don't even get it done it's like damn so I'm gonna have to figure it out I really I want to do it like my goal is to do YouTube and music full-time like that's what I love I honestly I love making these videos I love editing I'm just such a perfectionist that I, I stop myself from doing stuff because I, I love doing it and then I'm like, oh my god, this fucking sucks. I hate this. So um, I hope that I can figure out how to just get over that and be like, whatever, you know, like people just want to 
hear about my life more than once every two months, you know, or people want some content because that's how I am with my favorite YouTubers. Like, I just want content. Like, I just want to see them. I, I feel like a personal connection. I feel like this is a video call, you know, and it kind of is because I respond to your comments and stuff and I'll respond to you on Instagram and like Facebook Messenger, whatever. And um, I have a personal connection with so many people that are subscribed to me. So I know that that's what it's about. It's just like I personally, I, I hold myself to like the highest standards and then I don't even do anything. <laughs> I'm just like, nope, because if it's not up here, then might as well not be anywhere, you know? But that's the wrong attitude to have. I just gotta fucking, fucking go for it do some shit. So until I see you next time, which hopefully will be sooner, I, I really will. Okay, I'm not going to make promises. Um, I'll try. <laughs> um, until next time, keep it cruelty free and kind and stay fucking woke. How will you talk to me?